Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to break down two common cancer treatments, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. These treatments are often discussed in the context of cancer care, but many people are not fully aware of how they differ and what each entails. Both are powerful, but they work in different ways. Understanding these differences can help patients and their families make informed decisions about their treatment options. First, let's talk about chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, often referred to simply as chemo, is a type of cancer treatment that uses one or more anti-cancer drugs as part of a standardized chemotherapy regimen. Chemotherapy, or chemo for short, uses drugs to target and kill rapidly dividing cells. These drugs can be administered in various ways including intravenously, orally, or through injections. Cancer cells divide quickly making them prime targets. However, chemo doesn't just target cancer cells, it can affect other rapidly dividing cells in the body as well. These drugs travel throughout your body, so they can attack cancer cells almost anywhere. This systemic approach is one of the reasons why chemotherapy is so effective against cancers that have spread to multiple parts of the body. But because chemo can't distinguish between fast-growing cancer cells and other fast-growing cells like those in your hair or digestive tract, side effects like hair loss and nausea are common. These side effects can vary in intensity and duration depending on the specific drugs used and the individual patient's response. Now, on to radiotherapy. Radiotherapy uses high doses of radiation to destroy cancer cells. This treatment is often used for localized cancers, where the goal is to target a specific area of the body. Unlike chemo, it's usually localized, targeting a specific area where the cancer is located. This precision allows doctors to focus the treatment on the tumor while minimizing damage to surrounding healthy tissue. Radiation damages the DNA of cancer cells, preventing them from growing and dividing. Over time, the damaged cancer cells die off and the tumor shrinks. One advantage of radiotherapy is that it's more precise, so it often has fewer side effects compared to chemo. However, the side effects that do occur are usually localized to the area being treated. However, it can still cause fatigue, skin changes, and other local effects. These side effects can vary depending on the area being treated and the dose of radiation used. So, which is better? Well, it depends on several factors, including the type of cancer, its stage, and your overall health. Each treatment has its own set of benefits and risks, and what works best for one person might not be the best option for another. Sometimes doctors use both treatments together to maximize effectiveness. This combined approach can be particularly effective in certain types of cancer. For example, chemo can shrink a tumor before radiotherapy, making the radiation more effective. This strategy can help to reduce the size of the tumor, making it easier to target with radiation. It's important to have an open dialogue with your oncologist to understand the best treatment plan for you. Your doctor will take into account your specific situation, including the type and stage of cancer, and how your body is responding to treatment. They will consider your specific situation, the type and stage of cancer, and how your body is responding to treatment. This personalized approach ensures that you receive the most effective and appropriate care. Remember, each person's journey is unique and what works for one person might not work for another. It's important to stay informed and be proactive in your care. Stay informed, ask questions, and lean on your support system. Your family, friends, and healthcare team are there to support you every step of the way. And always, always consult with your healthcare provider for advice tailored to your situation. They are your best resource for personalized medical advice.